this material <coughs> here is probably designed to work at a specific uh, compression rate. Right. Um, right. So I think torquing is going to be really important. Yep. And I understand that we have some um, product built into this particular gasket to prevent us from over torquing right. and negating all of that great engineering uh, that you put right. into these right. gaskets. Tell us a little bit more about that. Sure. Um, well, you know, the, the, the parts in front of us, you know, pretty plain to see that, that this OEM style gasket uses a plastic carrier. We call the black part the carrier. Um, plastic is plastic. It's, uh, you know, it's, it's a great product, but, you know, in this application or this family of applications, you're going to need something that's really bulletproof. So what we do is we have an aluminized steel core, so plastic is gone. We also have a, a FKM or that Viton compound that we've developed that will do the uh, seal, you know, the duties for the intake ports. Um, that will outlast, a, you know, an OEM style material such as such, such as this, um, just because of the heat resistance and because of the, of the chemical resistance. So, and, and another part to developing a gasket like this is let's look at the worst OEM heads that we can find, and see what see what that pitting looks like that you'd mentioned. Uh, we want to make sure that we have at least one sealing bead outside of the worst case scenario for the pitting. So that's why when you look at a part like this, you'll see multiple sealing beads, especially on the ends there. Uh, there are three sealing beads, and again, it's just to make sure that, you know, once the installer puts this thing together, we don't want it to come back apart, at least not for an intake manifold gasket. Uh, so we, we go ahead and we design in some, some, some features that will allow it to seal when maybe a stock part wouldn't. Wow, that's um, a really good idea, and I can see that. So we have various different ridges here, yep. so if the first little ridge doesn't catch it, there's pitting beyond that. Right, right. The next one will. If that doesn't catch it, the next one will. Exactly. exactly. What a great idea. And, and these things right here. Those are, are load limiters or compression stops. So, you know, that kind of makes the installation foolproof. Uh, we would like, you know, the installer to use the torque wrench, but uh, that will prevent over tightening, which is kind of a, a key issue as well. Again, we're trying to avoid having problems uh, after the installation has been made. We don't, again, want this, part to com this engine to come back apart for an intake manifold gasket. So we try to help out the technician as much as we can. Uh, and again, it's got the FKM rubber. And that's an in-house design. Um, there are some qualities to the rubber besides the heat resistance and the, uh, and the uh, ability to uh, work in a pretty caustic environment. Um, so, you know, it's the hardness. It's, it's all different qualities that you kind of, you know, uh, design into the material itself. Um, so, when we look at that, we know we have the intake gasket covered. We also want to make a point of making sure that the end user gets exactly what they need in the box. Um, so, so if they're doing an intake job on a small block Chevy, as in this uh, case, I want to make sure they have everything they need, that they're not going to have to, to run back out and, and try to get a part. Um, we want to make sure that they have it. And part of having the right parts is, you know, the onus is on us to make sure we put everything in the kit that's uh, obviously required for the application. That's great. And, you know, how important that is, is that once you get into a job, uh, you don't want to say, oh, darn, I forgot something, I have to go back or, or make that phone call back to the store and have it delivered. Right. That's just time wasted. Uh, so this is really great. And I'm looking at something here that uh, I know is going to seal up. I know I'm not going to over torque it. Mm -hmm. um, here we've got some valve cover gaskets that are not cork, um, right. and there is something about not using any sealant on these things, right? You right. Want to tell us a little bit more about sure. why that is. Uh, sure. And, and uh, an observation here would also be that you know this is a different material than this. This is a silicone molded rubber, because that's the right material for that for that sealing joint. Mm -hmm. This is the FKM, which is is the right material for that type of environment. Um, when you use RTV. Um, a couple things happen. Well, number one, from a gasket inflation standpoint, the RTV will act as a lubricant. So when you go to tighten down the casting, it's going to want to make the, uh, the, the actual gasket extrude or, or, or pull out from its, uh, uh, from its joint. And not only that, but when we're doing something on intake manifolds, we certainly don't want RTV getting into the intake manifold because then it gets yeah. to the oxygen sensor and we have all kinds of problems right. there too. Right. So it goes down into the valley and ends up in the oil pan. Exactly. Good, so. so. So, uh, we need uh, RTV in certain applications, certainly right. not in other applications, so we'll be careful to look at that. And I know that there's going to be instructions. And those are the things that we try to spell out. Right. right. Definitely.